Hey guys, um, I just wanted to talk about a little bit something that has to do with um, 9 1 and 9 2, and that was axis of symmetry. All right, so the axis of symmetry say I have a parabola and it looks something like this. We have this imaginary line that travels down the middle of our parabola that crosses and it intersects at the either maximum or the minimum of the parabola, right? And what's special about the axis of symmetry is both sides of the axis of symmetry are mirror images of each other, right? And this is a really important line. So in 9.2, it actually introduces to us how we can actually find out what the equation of this line is. So if we remember, right, which I hope you do, that our quadratic equations are y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we talked about in the last video that my a value tells me two things. It tells me one, the direction, right? Does it open up or down? And two, the width of my problem. Now we didn't get into actual numbers of the width, but knowing that the smaller this number is, or closer to zero, the wider my parabola is going to be. The larger this number is, number the, the a value, the skinnier my parabola is gonna be. Then we talked about C, we didn't talk about B at all yet, right? We talked about C, and C is going to be the Y shift, right? That's gonna tell me how far up or down my parabola is gonna go, right? Nine two is where we introduce B, right? Where we're gonna talk about what does this have to do with, right? And this is going to be not directly a Y shift, like, like, like C is, like it's not gonna just move it up or down a certain number, but it's going to be involved in, you know, it's involved in the X shift. Right, how far left or right the parabola is going to move from the parent function. Right, it's also going to tell us the X value at the max or min. Right, it's going to tell us what this X value is here. That's what we're going to try and find out from there. All right. So we actually can kind of skip ahead to exactly where that is, and we have the equation of the axis of symmetry. Right, that equation of the axis of symmetry is y equals y equals negative b over two a. Right, this is the equation of the axis of symmetry. That's going to tell me this line right here. Right. That's that equation, right? And you can see it's going to be y equals a number. If we remember Vuxhoy, right? Y equals a number. That's going to be a vertical line. But what's special about this as well, we know the x value. We know this x value right here. So we also know the x value here. This is going to be the x value at my maximum or minimum, right? So this point right here is negative b over 2a. My x value at the vertex. Well, that helps me even more so because once I know the x value at the vertex, I can just plug that into my equation for x and find out what my y value is. And then I can find out the uh, vertex of that equation. Right. So let's do an example here. 
say I have the equation y equals x squared minus 6x plus 4. Right? And I'm going to ask you, I want two things. I want the axis of symmetry, and I want the vertex. Right? These are the two things I want on this, this problem. And then I can draw my parabola pretty easily. Right? So the first thing I want to do is find out what my axis of symmetry is. Right? So I'm going to bring up my formula, y equals negative b over 2a. I'm going to plug in my a value and my b value. So I'm going to get y equals negative b. Well, b is negative 6. Negative 6 over 2 times my a value, which is 1. So y equals, when I simplify everything, I'm going to get a positive 3. Right. That is my axis of symmetry. y equals 3. Once I know y equals three, and I know that this three is my x value, I can plug it back in and I get y equals, oops, sorry, x equals, sorry, that should not be y equals, x equals three. Sorry, I wrote down that formula wrong, it's x equals x equals negative b over 2a. I go back to my other notes. x equals negative b over 2a. So if I plug that x value in to my equation, I get 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 4 y equals 9 minus 18 plus 4. y equals 9 minus 18 is negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. So my y value equals negative 5, my x value equals 3, so my vertex is 3 comma negative 5. So when I draw my parabola, I know my vertex is going to be at 3 comma negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know my vertex is right here. And I know since A equals a positive 1, it's going to open up and it's going to do something like this. I know what my parabola looks like. Let's do a second. Uh, y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 2. Okay, so first thing, we, we're going to want an axis of symmetry and we're going to want a vertex. Two things that we want at this point. So my axis of symmetry is going to be x equals negative b over 2a x equals negative b is positive 4, 2 times negative 1. Simplify that, I get x equals positive 2. Plug that into my equation, y equals negative 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 2. Simplify. y equals negative 4 plus 8 minus 2. y equals positive 2. So my axis of symmetry is x equals 2. And my vertex is 2 comma I hope that helps, um, and I'm going to be doing an example on a separate video for the uh, using the vertex and the axis symmetry in a model. 
Thank you, and I hope this helped.